Intel has a massive problem with their Arc B580. Let's have a chat about it. Hey, what's cracking everybody? Welcome back to Computer Games Hardware. Today on the channel, we are talking about the B580 and the issues that have been uncovered when pairing it with an older CPU. So the Intel Arc B580 doesn't work as expected when it is paired with an older CPU, significantly limiting the upgradability on this budget card that uh, users might find appealing. Hardware Canucks broke the story and it was followed up with uh, some testing by uh, Steve from Hardware Unboxed. So this is a little bit of an issue because the B580 uh, broke to glowing reviews, uh, mine included, which is why I'm addressing it today. So when these guys tested the B580 with CPUs like the uh, Core i5 9600K and the Ryzen 5 2600X, it saw some significant performance drops compared to cards like the 4060 and the 7600, which is it's comparable to. Uh, and there was significant performance drops. And I also understand that plenty of users reported the issue as well, leading Hardware Canucks to make the report or make their video. And the performance drops were pretty significant from 25 up to 50%. So that is a big issue, particularly if you have an older system and you're wanting to upgrade your GPU to get a performance boost, which is usually not a bad way to get more frames in an older system. And then you can start upgrading the rest of your system around that. So people might not be happy about that, particularly with the glowing reviews that the B580 saw during its launch period. Hardware Canucks theorized that this might be an architectural incompatibility or something like that, which makes sense because the Arc has had a history of driver related issues. The root cause is still unknown and Hardware Canucks have reached out to Intel and Intel have acknowledged the issue and they're looking into it. So here's where I come in. I have a theory about what's going on and for my mind it's got to be the cache, right? It's just got to be. The Ryzen 5 2600X has something like 20 megabytes of total cache. The Core i5, the 9600K has even less. I think it's 10 megabytes of total cache. Compared to the uh, 9800X3D, which has over 100 megabytes of total cache, 3DV cache as well, you know, that is a significant difference. So I think that's where the problem lays. Hey, just want to jump in here and say, if you're enjoying any of the content on Computer Games Hardware, please check us a like, share, and subscribe. We've got plenty of content about CES, uh, the RDNA 4 architecture that's just been announced, the NVIDIA 50 series. It's all going on, and I will have some content for you guys uh, shortly. You guys can check out all our social media links and our affiliate links in the description below. We're trying to blow up in 2025, so I really appreciate your support. Thanks for watching guys. Okay. So the way resizable bar works is by uh, removing the, I think it's 256 megabyte data limit that is imposed on data transfer between CPUs and peripherals. And what it does is literally resizes the uh, memory mapping limit uh, to allow full access from the device to the CPU. So that must not be working properly for the uh, Arc to be experiencing these kinds of issues. So I reckon resizable bars not working as expected between these CPUs and this GPU and CPUs with significantly less cache are being affected the most, much like the 2600 and the 9600K. So surely the B580 will work much better or even as expected, even on older CPUs that have a higher cache. Think about the 3900X, for example, it has like 64 megabytes of uh, cache, which, uh, you know, is comparable to modern CPUs. So with resizable bar enabled, the, it will probably work as expected compared to 
the next CPU down, which is the 3800X, which has half of that. So it might not work as expected, uh, you know, even with resizable bar and enabled because it just doesn't have the same amount of cache. So that's my working theory on the issue at the moment. I've reached out to some of the big tech tubers to uh, test the theory because unfortunately I don't have the uh, time or resources. I don't have the CPUs or the GPU to test. So we'll see what happens, but that's my working theory at the moment. In the meantime, if you're not gonna pair this with a more modern CPU, maybe just hold off or think twice about your upgrade path or what you're doing with the CPU. But in my mind, the theory is the higher the cache on the CPU, the better the B580 uh, will work uh, with resizable bar enabled. So uh, that's a caveat too. These, these things need resizable bar to work as expected. So that's my working theory at the moment. I'm hoping that we get some answers soon in the next couple of weeks. I still would recommend the B580. I know that seems controversial with the issues going on, but the value proposition is just too good to uh, uh, to pass up in my mind. If you're looking for something and you're going to be pairing it with a modern system, a new CPU with resizable bar and all those things, I think it still stands corrected. Intel were pretty upfront about <clears throat> it, it working. The disappointing thing is that they marketed it as an upgrade path to, from older systems. So that's where you have to be careful. Just hold off. I'm not, I'm not saying go out and buy them and everything's going to be fine. Really consider what your options are if you are thinking about upgrading to a B580. Anyway, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below what you think the issues with the B580 is. Intel just can't get a win on <laughs> lately, I swear. You know, things have been positive, but there's always a twist with these guys. They've just got to get it right one of these days. Anyway, Hopefully we get a solution to this issue soon so we do have a really good competitive GPU market because you might have seen from uh, NVIDIA's presentation that competition within the market works. I think they drop some of their prices because, you know, in Intel are in the market with really competitive GPUs. So hopefully we get a solution to this issue. Anyway, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I've had a good time making this one. Hopefully, we get a solution soon. I hope you've had a good time watching it and you've got some theories or some suggestions about what's going on in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.